Welcome back. Today I will share my top 10 tips when using Google Play Music. If you're a subscriber, then you must embrace playlists. Subscribers to Play Music can create playlists with a combination of songs from their uploaded collection or songs from the subscription service itself. A playlist can be created from any song in your library. To do so, simply select that song, add to playlist, and you have the option to add to an existing playlist that you already have in your list, or you can simply create a new playlist. As you can see, we're going to create a new awesome mega mix playlist and then give it a description. When you create a playlist, you can either choose to keep it private where it's only accessible to you or toggle the public button. This will allow your playlist to be searched by other users and they can either add this to their library or they can subscribe to it. Here, if we go back to our recent playlist, we can see the new Awesome Mega Mix playlist that we created. The menu options that you see allow us to edit the playlist, share the playlist, or we can simply delete it. We can continue to add more songs to this playlist, or we can even start a radio from this playlist. Here you can see that I've subscribed to a gaming playlist. Subscribing simply allows me to stay with that user's curated selection of songs, and I can follow them and any changes they make. You can also share your playlist to any services via text message, to Twitter, or Facebook. I've even grabbed some of the URL links to these particular playlists and added them to my blog post as well as the description of this video. Another feature is downloads. You can download any playlist or radio station so that you can have faster offline local playback instead of streaming everything. To do so, you can simply select the ellipsis to download the radio station or the playlist or select the little pan icon to download that playlist to your device. Anything that you add to this playlist will automatically download to your device. In the settings of the mobile app, you will have the ability to define your streaming quality. The changes here affect the amount of data you use. You can opt to choose Wi-Fi only if you're on a very restricted mobile data plan, in which pinning radio stations and playlists for offline playback will be your best option. You can also choose your mobile network stream quality from low, medium, or high. In the mobile app, you can enable the equalizer and tune your music to your preference. I generally leave this option off unless I'm listening to music on my Sony NVR headphones. I find when listening to music on those that it's a little bit clearer and better playback than if I were to listen on my earbuds. Maybe you know about this, maybe you don't. Don't like the song you're listening to or want to listen to that previous song again? Simply swipe to the right for the previous track and to the left for the next track. At least in going back a track, it is far superior to hitting the previous button twice. Want to edit that song title, artist, or album name, or even that image? Do so from the desktop app. You can select a single song or multiple songs and select the ellipsis, then choose Edit Info. Here you can change all the aforementioned song information. Play Music will also find suggestions. You can click each suggestion to change it or select the All option at the bottom. You can also change album art cover by accepting the suggestion or uploading your own image. For the desktop app, you can enable a mini player. Simply select the little icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you enable and download the install, you can activate the mini player. You can also choose to keep this player on top of every other app so that you always have access to the play, forward, skip options. Selecting the feeling lucky option will randomly generate a song cue based off your likes. 
While limited, you can use Google Voice Search to play music using the basic Feeling Lucky option or call to a specific playlist. Here, I'm going to call to my Play Fun Mix playlist and Google is going to launch and start playing that playlist for me. Next, I'm going to call to a specific music artist and Google Search will browse that artist and start playing music by them. I can also call out to a specific song by artist and have it played as well. If you have a Chromecast, then this is a great way to stream music through your system. I like to select the playlist, cast it to my TV, and have it play on my surround sound system as I clean, or if I'm having friends over. This is for my advanced users. In Chrome, you can add a custom search engine. This will allow you to search Google Play Music from your address bar. Simply right click in your address bar, select edit search engines, and then add your own. The URL that you need to add will be in the description of this video. Once that's done, if you go back to your home tab and input the unique code that you chose, then you'll be prompted to select the tab button once you input that code and then you can input your search query. You can search for a music artist, an activity, a mood, an album, and it will search that for you. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed these top 10 tips that I've had. And if you have any more of your own, please share them in the comments below. And if you haven't, please check out my previous video of the latest version 6 Google Play Music walkthrough. And if you have anything else you would like to see or any questions, please comment below. Hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you like this and would like to see more. Take care.